Yo, what's up, everyone? My name's Dave, and you suck at programming. All right, today we're back in Bash, all right? A lot of you had stuff to say on my first couple of parts talking about for loops. You were saying I could use a find command and pipe into a while loop instead of using the for command. So let's take a look at this, all right? So we have files again, and what kind of files do we have here? You know there's gonna be question marks. You know there's weird stuff going on. It's me, so you know there's gonna be some trickery here. Let's do a long listing on it. We can see that there are three files, one named A, one named B, space, space, C, and one named D, some character E. What do you think that some character is? Let's find out. A lot of you are saying we could use a find command, so let's do that. Find the name of the directory, which is files, and then type F, meaning we're only looking for regular files. When we do this, we can see that there are three files. This one has a new line in it. So even though there's three files, there are four lines. Remember that, that's important. So let's pipe this to a while loop, like a bunch of you said we could do. While, read, file, do, echo, and then we'll put some greater than, less than signs around it just to make it easy to see. And if we print this, we can see that, uh-oh, we have four entries here, even though we have three files. See, the new line's a problem. Because we're using a new line as a delimiter character, and also the file has a new line in it, that's a problem. That's why your script sucks, right? So I'm going to show you how to make it better. Instead of using new lines to delimit it, we can use null bytes. Now, some of you said this in the comments, so I guess some of you are kind of base, but still a little cringe, and I'm going to show you why. So let's do this. Print zero. This means we're going to separate the files by null bytes. And in the read command, so right here, this is a read built in, we're going to do dash R for raw, or we're going to do dash D for delimiter. The delimiter is an empty string. Why? Because an empty string ends in a null byte. We're telling it to delimit based on null bytes. So if we run this now, let's take a look. Look at this. We only have three things. One file, two files, three files. That's what we want to see. That's correct. Isn't that awesome? Look, it's almost base because this is what you guys suggested. However, it might still be cringe. Let's find out. Let's take a look at this script. So it's hard to read when it's actually on the command line like this. So let's uh, let's put in a script. We've got a cringe script here. Let's open this up. All right, this is exactly what I ran before. We're going to find files, print zero, while read line, cool, echo file, awesome. What if we wanted to count them? I equals zero. We'll do a nice I plus plus, and then we'll echo found dollar I files. So this should loop three times. We should increment I to three, and we should say found three files, right? Let's run this cringe script. All right, we found one file, we found two files, we found three files, and uh-oh, found zero files. What the hell is going on? Isn't that super weird? I thought we were incrementing. Right, what's going on? Well, all of you guys have suggested this, you're still cringe. You know why you're still cringe? Because of this right here. This pipe, everything over here, gets executed in a subshell. So I gets copied into this subshell, and it does increment. But when this subshell is over, it's gone. That memory is gone. I is still zero. I here is the same as it was up here. None of these modifications actually affected the current running shell. So how do we fix this? Well, let's take a look at the base script. Can you guys guess what the base script is going to look like? That's right. It's going to be a for loop like from part one, because what I'm telling you is the way to do it. Just use this. You won't run into any weird problems. You can actually count the number of files in a directory without having to worry about it. We run it. Bam, found three files. There you go. That's how to loop files still using a for loop and not a find command and bash.